here's the here's the big thing from this week. No big, no really big winners. None. Um, you know, usually we we get those like uh, it's more normal to see some much bigger winners. Um, and I think we saw that last intensive, right? We had some big wins, stuff like that. Um, we just didn't get that this week. And some of the nice wins, um, such as, you know, I think crude oil is a good example. I think what both days that we participated in crude oil, it was a string of losses, drawing down a couple R to then make a handful of R and just bare, barely come out ahead there. So even though those were on a relative basis, you know, a good size win relative to the average loss, right? I maintained north of two to one pretty much all week. Um, and that's with quick scale outs, right? I'm, when I talk about two to one, this is really important. Let's, let's just make sure everybody gets this. There is a universal way that everyone should talk about risk reward and the math behind it. If you traded a three lot and you got in long here and you scaled out of some for plus one R and then you scaled out of another for, for your, your second contract for plus two R and your third contract for plus three R. Okay. Some people, I see this all the time, reputable, big accounts on Twitter. They say that they made plus six R, right? Or if they're, you know, if they're saying how many points they made in the S&P, let's say that the stop size, the one R was four points, just as a, a silly example, right? It's probably bigger than that these days. But anyways, four points. They will say that they made four plus eight plus 12. What is that? 24? Made 24 points in the ES. Even though this market only went how far in their favor? 12 points. Okay. This is all the wrong way to do it. The right way that you have to do it is you have to take, if you were in for three, your average gain is what you have to find essentially right average pnl equals the the size that you traded right this is going to be simple one lot times one unit of r or four points well, however you want to do it if you want your pnl to be in r or points um plus one lot times two r plus one lot times the three R that you made divided by the total size that you traded. Right? You're finding the average, you know, you could, another way you could go into it, if you exited at 35.84 and then 35.94 and then 36.04, add up those prices that you exited times the size that, um, you know, just like this, divided by the total size that was traded, you'll come up with the average exit. It's not fuzzy math. This, you know, so, so you know, um, two, three, four, five, six, divided by three is two. This is a two R winner. This was a two R winner, period. Oh, the other guys. Yeah, that is, yeah. Um, this is a two R game, guys. You risked one R on all contracts. So you can't say that you risked, you know, four points to make 24 points. That's not accurate, right? Um, you could say that you risked, you know, three times four points to make your 24 points, right? So that's two to one, 12 to 24. Two to one is what you made there. 
uh, that's really important. So my point of bringing all this up was to kind of teach you that as well as a lot of times I'm scaling, you know, a couple times early in a rotation in my favor, especially the way I traded this week with a lot of scalping. And then I'll get a couple of these out there, right? Sometimes for half the size, sometimes for a little less than that size, less than half. So the fact that I maintain north of two to one average, the real math really speaks to the risk reward skew that I'm, I'm working with, right? And it's a big deal. It's not, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back here. I'm trying to teach you guys the importance of, of these things and, and how I believe so strongly and why that's important. <laughs>